Hey friends, this is Question Current and today I wanted to talk about the story of how I came to this completely non-spec USB-C to laptop charger cable and why the associated power brick that came with it is totally rated for a wrong current uh, considering the fact that it features USB-C output. But let's first start with the story of how I came to this and why I have this in my hands. So the laptop I'm normally using has this 135 watt power supply with the regular socket and laptop charging port output. And if you take a look at the back side, it says 135 watts. And if we take a closer look, we can see that those 135 watts are built up by providing an output of 20 volts at a maximum output current of 6.75 amps. So this charger can be connected directly to my laptop and charge it with a maximum current of 6.75 amps at 20 volts. So I thought, okay, 20 volts is a standard USB-C power delivery voltage and the 6.75 amps are only slightly above the 5 amps nominally as a maximum for USB-C power delivery. So maybe the manufacturer already had that in mind and made some special kind of arrangement to be able to charge via USB power delivery. And luckily enough, I found this adapter for a USB-C to regular charging port and thought, okay, I mean, those, those adapters are available online quite cheaply and there are a lot of different variations with this short cable, without a cable and just a connector in a longer variant and with a male and female USB connector. So they, they should definitely um, have had this in mind while designing the laptop. So I bought this adapter and I also bought a charger that is capable of providing the, the necessary output current uh, 5 amps and an output voltage of above 20 or 20 volts with a really good USB cable um, and this cable actually goes up to 240 watts and nicely enough the manufacturer wrote it on the connector itself even though it is a bit difficult to read so I thought okay let's connect all those things together charge my laptop and we're good to go but turns out, no, we are not. The manufacturer of my laptop actually did not have that in mind. We are not able to charge with a USB-C to laptop charger adapter. And I was totally out of luck and thought, okay, I, I do have to carry around this monstrosity everywhere I go and an additional charge for my phone and tablet and headphones and, and all of this stuff if I don't want them to, to charge overnight on my laptop. So. I rest my case and thought, okay, that's it. Bad luck for me um, that we are going to use the charger forever. But then I came to this listing and the listing itself was actually like this. So I thought, okay, this plug is really interesting. The manufacturer logo on it definitely has to be fake because there is no way a manufacturer officially uh, produces a uh, power supply like this that's just with one kind of connector which is not where i'm from from europe where, where we do have these connectors and it has an output of exactly 20 volts at 6.75 amps so 135 watts max that's not according to usb spec usb has a maximum output current of 5 amps a maximum working current of 5 amps so that's not within spec this has to be fake someone has to have made this um on their own to to be able to charge my laptop and nicely enough the we're actually uh providing this with this usb c to um, laptop charging cable that, that funnily enough also has a USB logo on top, even though it has nothing to do with, with USB. And it, it works. And they, they also supplied a second cable, just a regular USB-C to USB-C cable. And if, if we test this and we take a look at, at what it can actually do, if it can advertise itself as, as maybe being not, not for five amps, but for anything else, Maybe we, we can find out what we, we actually want to find out if this is actually a proper cable or not, if this is actually a proper device or not. And I'm going to show you 
by just testing the cable itself. If you give me one second, we are going to plug in the cable tester and wait a second until it has fully turned on and then connect the cable. And let's see. Yeah, so the cable itself is a USB 2 cable with 480 megabits, so 0 0.48 gigabits per second data transmission speed and a charging power of 100 watts with the cable health being at 100%, it means it's a new cable. So the specs, like I said, USB 2.0, backwards compatible to USB 1.1, voltages up to 20 volts and currents up to 5 amps, with the connector pins just being the ground, Webus, CC1, CC2 and D plus and D minus for USB 2 compatibility which we should see here, yes, and also shield is connected, so data tr transmission should work quite well. The thing is, this cable can only do five amps because the standard only says it goes up to five. It doesn't do six or 6.75 or anything above five amps. So the cable itself, even though it feels quite nice and rigid and it's not too bad of a ca cable, even though you can only transmit the data quite slowly, should work, but the charger should not work. It, it should not happen to, to, be, to exist at all. And even more weirdly in just one socket configuration. And while digging around on the internet, I found out that this actually seems to be an official charging device made by this manufacturer. So the socket itself um, is presumably US, but I'm not exactly sure because they normally feature those little holes on the US connector. So it's definitely not um, from China. It's definitely not from Europe. So I'm not exactly sure where, where, which market they aim at. And it's definitely not up to USB spec, but you can buy it. It comes in an official looking box and it seems to be officially by the vendor. And it works if I use it with this kind of adapter that, um, kind of works with European sockets, even though it looks kind of risky, but that seems to be the case with all of them. And in the end, I'm, I'm using it now. It seems to be working quite well, but you have to be really wary about what you connect with what, what kind of USB-C and what kind of leads you're using, because it could happen that I'm using some kind of cheap extension cord with that. And I've tried, it, it actually works with extension cords that doesn't, um, it, that isn't rated for, for 5 amps, let alone 6.75. So the, it could be rated for 3 amps. And I charge my laptop overnight, um, have something running, to draw the full 135 watts, and then it just burns up. So with this in mind, you now know that there actually exists a charger for 135 watt um, laptops with this kind of connector on the output. But please be wary and please only use it when, when you're in the room and when you know what you're doing. With this, thanks for staying with me. If you have any comments, just put them in the comments below. Don't forget that there is now a YouTube membership for $2.99 a month. You will get included in early releases of my videos. You will also get included in some prices that, that I hand out, some, some cables that, that we've tested. And if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. Thanks.